ഹലോ ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ടു വൺ ആൻഡ് ഓൾ മൈസൽ ഡോക്ടർ അതുൽ ചീഫ് ഫിസീഷ്യൻ ആരാധന ആയുർവേദ മണ്ണാർക്കാട് വെൽക്കമിംഗ് യു ടു മൈ യൂട്യൂബ് ചാനൽ സോ ടുഡേസ് വീഡിയോ ഈസ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഫോർ ദ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഓഫ് ബി എം എസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ എസ് വെൽ ആസ് ഫോർ ദ ജൂനിയർ ഡോക്ടേഴ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഓസ് ഫോർ പ്രിപ്പയറിംഗ് ഫോർ ദ എൻട്രൻസ് എക്സാം ഓർ ദിയർ റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് എക്സാമിനേഷൻ ടുഡേ ആസ് യു ആസ് എ സീങ് ഓൺ ദ ബോർഡ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് ഇറ്റ്സ് ടുഡേ വി ആർ ഡിസ്കസിംഗ് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ പാർട്സ് ഓഫ് ദ അപ്പർ ലിവ് സോ I will be going directly to the topic. Before that, if anyone is new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and share our videos maximum. Let's go into the video. So as you can see, we are going to discuss regarding the parts of upper limb. Yes, as you can see as a pictorial representation, just you take this as a representation only of the one of the shoulder. So two shoulders are there for our own body. So if we study one of the shoulder joint, what are the parts, what are the bones coming in that shoulder? The same will be coming on the other shoulder also. So consider this as a right upper limb. Just consider as a pictorial, it is not up to right figure. For the figure, I can give the, uh, that figure, original figure on the right side. So just see for the uh, right upper limb. So from the first one is the clavicle this bone which we call as clavicle bone clavicle bone or it's also called as a collar bone clavicle bone or it is also called as collar bone it is called as a collar bone so in our body there are two collar bone one in each side so two total number is two numbers are very important coming to the entrance point of view so this region is called as a call shoulder joint this region is shoulder and coming to the next bone that is a scapula that is a scapula beneath this clavicle you can see scapula again scapula also two in number one on each side and uh, the bone which is coming after in the from the shoulder joint to the elbow joint which connects the shoulder to the elbow elbow region that is a humerus humerus bone humerus bone that also two in number one on each limb each upper limb so one on the right side one on the left side scapula also one on the right side one on the left side clavicle the same one on each side so this number is written we are adding both the limbs upper limbs and total number is written here and up to here it is called as arm here up to the elbow region it is called as arm region it is called as the arm region and from the elbow joint to the wrist joint this is the elbow joint to the wrist joint wrist joint after that i didn't draw you can see in the original picture it is known as forearm region so arm region forearm region shoulder region this one this is called as shoulder region arm region start from the shoulder to the elbow it is called as the arm arm region from elbow to wrist is called as forearm region so let's see we had seen the arm region humerus bone is coming and forearm region there are two bones which is known as the ulna and the radius radius and ulna so if you are consider considering this as the left if you are considering this as the left arm the lateral side lateral side means this side this this side lateral side it is considering as a left arm lateral side will be coming as a radius bone and medial side which is inside side we will be calling as the ulna so two bones are coming in the forearm region that is lateral side which is coming is the radius bone again uh, both in both if it is uh, upper limb one one is here so total two radius will be there on the lateral side when we come to the uh, medial side again ulna on each side one one is there again its number is two so totally two ulnas are there in the human body 
so after this in original picture you can see as you can see there are carpal bones there are carpal bones which make up the wrist joint carpal bones you can uh, see the carpal bones there are totally 8 plus 8 that is totally 16 carpal bones are there number is very important when we coming to the entrance point of view so 8 carpal bone on the right side 8 carpal bones on the left side so totally 16 carpal bones are there next is the metacarp metacarpal bones and the phalanges metacarpal bones if you are seeing we can see this five it is one metacarpal second third fourth and fifth so totally five metacarpal bones are there metacarpal bones five on the right side five on the left side totally 10 are there and the last and the is phalanges phalanges so as we seen five metacarpals are there one two three four and five phalanges means three on each finger except the thumb that is you can see one two three same three six nine twelve and here two are there thirteen and fourteen so three six nine twelve and thirteen and fourteen because three means one two three in thumping finger only two are there so totally 14 in each uh, upper limb so totally there are 28 phalanges in a human body on each limb it is i am showing here so parts of the upper limb considering as a left upper limb shoulder region from the shoulder to the elbow it is the arm region elbow to the wrist is the forearm region so here is the collar bone coming on each side each upper limb one one collar bone together, together it is two collar bone or clavicle bone next is a scapula and from the shoulder to elbow one bone is there that is a humerus bone so totally there are two humerus bone from the elbow region to the wrist joint there are two bones namely radius and the ulna radius is coming on the lateral side ulna is coming on the medial side and then it the wrist joint is form of carpal bones carpal bones eight on each side together 16 carpal bones are there five metacarpals on each hand together 10 are there phalanges 14 on each upper limb that is 28 are there so that is for the upper limb parts of upper limb the next video will be coming with a new topic until then thank you